So you, you, in, you think about how can I introduce the subject, in what way? By talking, by reading, by playing. In what, what is the best manner to, to realize that the children are curious about the subject? For instance, when you want to um, uh, do an activity about counting, you can think about a game, for instance, in which counting is the central subject. Before I continue, give you an example for you to start with a counting game. A simple counting game. This game, we called it counting till 20. The responsibility of the whole group is that you end with 20. When I say one, I start. They don't say two. The neighbors never say the next count. You can say two. You don't say three. That's one rule. The second rule is, I said one, and he and she said two, similar, uh, at, the, at the same time. Not possible. Still one rule, when you do this, you want to say the count, not allowed. So then it, the question is, which group ends to 20? This is an example to introduce a subject, in this case, counting. So, you ne it is not always possible to think about a game, but think about how can I introduce a subject in a way it's interesting for the children. And it is not always possible, but you realize when you do an attractive game or other activity, the children are in this, mo in this moment interested. Then the instruction follows. And after an instruction, it's necessary that the children get time to think about the instruction. Because the, your goal is that the, the children uh, understand the, the instruction. Give them time to think about. A short moment. Think, I always call it think time. Because some children need more time to think about a question, or some people take more time, need more time. And some are very fast. They said, yes, 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 I know. But that's not allowed. Every child has to think about a question. So wait a time, and then you, get, you ask a child, OK, can you give a reaction? Yenna的工作学习时间是充满变化的。首先，老师需要确定目标，充分备课，然后在围圈时说明规划，并引起动机。接着，学生才开始工作学习。过程中，老师会不停观察，并视情况给予回馈。等工作学习告一段落，会进入结束圈。孩子们可以分享刚刚工作的成果，老师也能据此提出建议与调整。When you work. In Jena Plant schools and in a multi-age group, you must aware of the goals of the specific uh, age middle, middle age group. You must know the goals. You must have an overview uh, of the curriculum of the specific ages which are represented in the multi-age group. And when you work with a multi-age group, it's possible that the child can work with goals of uh, not of his level, his formal level one, I call it, but maybe in level two. And that's easier to organize in a multi-age group because he stays in the group. So then you make the decision that one child who is more capable to realize the goals of level one, you can decide Okay, you may do work of level two. When you do the instructions, the children work independently. 
or work together when the exercises are uh, so that you have to work together. And there is time for you as teacher to accompany, to coach the children, to give direct feedback and evaluation. I always say when you work with children, direct feedback is the best way. And not that you look after all the work afterwards. Because the children have forgotten a lot of things. No, check the children when possible, so early as possible. Now, what, when you work in a block period and when you stimulate the children be responsible, it's always important that you speak about quality conscious attitudes of children. They must present also qualitative work, qualitative results, because you have the risk when children work independent, they are not so precise. That's a risk. No, they must be aware when you get space and you may work independent, you also create qualitative good work results. When you work with the block period, you also make a decision about, okay, uh, is it possible that children learn to control their work by themselves? or with the help of the, the group's leader, the, the, the multi-age leader. Now, in this case, you see children 100 years ago work in this situation. This is also an image of, uh, of a school living room and you see some interactions. And these interactions uh, take place at the same moment. What I want to tell is is that in a block period there are several uh, several situations at the same time and the children must be learned that you don't disturb other groups all those activities must be in a kind of silent atmosphere and that's an aspect of training be careful be aware of the others Mainly the, the teacher must be aware about his voice. In these situations, the, the teacher are not allowed to speak loudly because otherwise he disturbs the working atmosphere. You can imagine when you there does something not well and I call to you, hey, mister, be quiet. No, I went, I go to the person or to the group and say quietly what I want. Now, in the, the total process of uh, self-responsible learning, it's also you have to learn something, you have to remember something, you have to apply your knowledge, and then you can let go and start a new process.